What's up guys, it's Moon Collectibles again here, and I am back with another video this week. And the reason for that is because I just got my Spiral Heart Moonrod Proplica in the mail this morning. So I thought I'd share that with you guys this week. So yeah, let's uh, go right ahead and take a look at the packaging. The Spiral Heart Moonrod Proplica packaging is absolutely beautiful. It comes in this really nice long white box with sparkly details, as well as a sparkly word Spiral Heart Moonrod. Got your sparkly Proplica logo, as well as your Toei Animation sticker, your Bandai and Tamashii Nation logos, as well as a really nice detailed image of the rod on the front. The back has a lot of promotional images, as well as all your standard logos in uh, Japanese text. And the side is incredibly detailed and sparkly as well. All right. So that is it for the packaging. Now let's take a look at the rod itself. So here we have the Spiral Heart Moonrod Proplica in all its glory. And I must tell you guys that this thing is massive. Um, I had heard um, online that this thing was gonna be pretty big, but uh, it's not just big, it's huge. So um, you'll probably see that for yourself when you get yours. Um, I ordered mine off of AmiAmi.com, so um, if you want to go pick up one there, you can order yours online there. And there's also a few other places you can order from as well, like um, JList or BigBadToyStore.com. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick up your own, those are a few places you can get yours. So yeah, now I'm going to show you the details. At the top, we have a newly designed crown with um, two shades of gold as opposed to the 90s toy which used one shade of gold. We have a newly designed heart that has a uh, slightly different shade of pink to it. It has more red in it. I think it's a blend of pink and red that gives it a red slash pink vibe. Also in uh, different lighting uh, settings, like if you're in under strong light or um, dim light, it'll appear uh, red or pink. Also you get the um, oval piece around the gem which has uh, two shades of gold as opposed to one like the 90s toy and also if you look at the uh, gem there um, you can see it still uh, has the um, rainbow tinting on it that is used on the Silver Crystal on the Crystal Star Compact Proplica, as well as the Moonstick. If you move further down, you get the um, smaller crown underneath the heart, as well as a newly designed bow, which also features um, a new color scheme, which um, now consists of light gold on the sides and dark gold in the middle, as well as a light gold moon, whereas the 90s toy was just all a uh, light gold color. And here's the back. And if you go further down, you get two star buttons, which do two different things when the Spiral Heart Moon Rod is turned on. And I will show you those features in just a minute. If you go a little further down, you get this um, secret button compartment. And by pressing this, it lets you switch modes from Moon Spiral Heart Attack to Rainbow Moon Heartache. Also, another thing I wanted to point out is that um, I know that this wasn't in the original uh, anime design. I believe the reason they threw this in here was for nostalgic purposes because the 90s toy had a little cap that you could take off and it would have a heart button that um, played the uh, Rainbow Moon Heartache uh, sound effect. So I think they did that just for the fans. And I really like that their, uh, that Bandai is thinking of the fans in terms of uh, making their uh, items. I think that's really nice of them. If we go down a little more, we get the uh, bottom portion of the rod with a newly designed um, bottom piece here, which uses a light gold color. So yeah. Um, now I'm going to show you the details of the stand. So now I'm going to show you the details of the stand. 
At the bottom here, we have a nice um, little uh, cutout of the Holy Grail, as well as some uh, sparkles and butterfly effects here on the bottom. And you also have some more butterfly effects up at the top. And if you remember the Cutie Moonrod Proplica, it had the uh, Silver Millennium Castle right here with some uh, sparkles going up. So it's a little different from uh, that stand, but the base is pretty much the same. Um, the top here, you have a different type of nesting piece for the top portion of the rod, which features a um, piece where you can uh, nest the star button inside of the uh, rest, the resting piece. And if you go down a little more, you have a different type of um, resting piece for the bottom portion of the rod that is a little bit thicker, also looks a little bit different as well. Probably because the um, bottom portion of this rod is a lot thicker than the cutie moon rod. So yeah, um, that is the stand and now I will show you the battery compartment. So now I'm going to show you guys the battery compartment. To get to the battery compartment, all you do is go to the back of the rod on the bottom portion and just pull this part right off. I've already done mine prior to filming, so mine's already off. But when you have your piece removed on the back, you have access to the battery compartment as well as the on and off switch. So yeah, that is the battery compartment. And now I will show you the lights and sounds. So now I'm going to show you guys the lights and sound effects. First I'm going to start with the startup mode. And now I'm going to show you how to switch between the different sounds. See this button at the top? All you do is press the button. and that'll allow you to select the different sounds you want to play. And this mode right here is also a uh, volume setting. So by pressing this button at the bottom, you can change the volume level. So now I'm going to show you the first sound. And now I'm going to show you the same sound, but with the long press. So that's the added sound effect you get when you hold it down longer than the short press. Now I'm going to show you the second sound. Here's a short press.
Now here's the same sound, but with the added sound effect. Alright, and now I'm going to show you the third sound. So that's the third sound, which if you're a um, collector of the 90s toys or have even seen the 90s toys, you'll um, immediately recognize that that's very similar to the 90s toy sound effect, where it just plays the first startup sound. Also, here is the fourth sound. which is also very similar to the uh, 90s toy sounds. Uh, I believe when you press the second button on the old 90s toy, it made that sound. Now I'm going to show you guys the Rainbow Moon Heartache lights and sound effects. To activate these sound effects and switch between the modes, all you do is go to the secret hidden button, press it once, and it switches from Moon Spiral Heart Attack to Rainbow Moon Heartache. Now I'm going to show you the sounds. Here's the first sound. Now I'm going to show you the same sound, but with the long press. So the added sound effect for Rainbow Moon Heartache is slightly different from Moon Spiral Heart Attack. And now I will show you the second sound.
And now I'm going to show you the same sound but with the long press. And now I'm going to show you guys the third sound. So that's pretty much the same sound as on the Moon Spiral Heart Attack feature, except the middle here lights up in different colors. Now I'm going to show you guys the fourth and last sound. Also, I love that sound because it also pays a tribute to the old 90s toy. Except for on the old 90s toy, you would remove the cap at the bottom of the rod and press the heart, speak, the heart button and it would make that sound. So yeah, there you have it. And that concludes my review of the new Sailor Moon Propica Spiral Heart Moon Rod. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.